Oh. Nice and loud. All right, first, um, I want y'all to jog me a lap around this basketball court along the blue line. Y'all can start here. No penalty for slowness? What's slow? Huh? Yeah, he's running over. That was good. Well, no, <laughs> should I try? No, you should not. You can walk around the thing, but no jogging. Hmm? He, she can semi-participate. Her back is just giving her fits. Why only two lines? Felix, Felix, go to the end because when you turn your back, they can't hear you. So get down here so they can, if they can see your face, they can hear you. You partner with the ball, you're going to pass it to your partner. Basically, your partner is going to one touch it, dribble it back to you, and then they can move off the ball. They can move off the defender. So I'm going to demonstrate. So your partner is going to pass the ball, you're going to one touch it, you're going to dribble it, and they can move off of it. Your player, and then basically he runs back to that side. And 
and y'all just keep going. You pass it down, I'll keep one touch. It makes me walk in the you run back, do the same exact thing. We do that for about three, four minutes. Make sure y'all do small touches. Keep the ball in front of y'all. Small touches, make good passes. Just try and keep your eyes up and your dribble. You're going all the terms that you do. I'm not, you, I know you do, but do you understand all the terms he's using? Talk to me after class about advising. I like that division. That was smart. So there's no way you can show them how to do it and send them down to the other goal, half of the group? Well, I can, I can do that. I mean, that, would, that would solve your problem. It would be hard to keep them all. Well, that, that's true. Uh, you do have, you've got Shelby that's played a little bit, right? Yes. She, uh, we're going to do that. Um, 
after I explain, after y'all are going to go to the Echo, the other half is going to stay here. Basically, what's going to happen is y'all actually need the balls. I apologize for that, but y'all going to pass me the ball or pass it up to you. Somebody got hands and make me do, and y'all just rotate it. Y'all gonna pass me the ball and I'm gonna send y'all the ball and y'all just run onto it and score. Make sure when you shoot, shoot with your laces, kick the ball in the middle of the ball. Don't kick it low, don't kick it high, don't lean back. Make sure you lean forward and you kick with your laces and you follow through all the way. Uh, so, there's 12 of y'all, six of y'all go down here. And then the other six stay here. Okay, Felix, now let her kick, and when she kicks, she's going to replace you, and then you can swap, go back and forth. We got this. We can roll, huh? We got this. That's good. Okay. She plays soccer. Yeah, okay. You take his play, and that way he can he can critique. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you can kind of work both courts. We should have set these up side by side if we'd have known he was coming. Wasn't coming today, but this will have to work. See, if we would known Romero was not going to be here today, we could have set these up side by side, and he could have stood in the middle and gave feedback to both groups easier, right? Mm -hmm. Having it like this makes it hard to see both groups, right? Mm -hmm. But we didn't know, so it was too late to move the goal. When you watch your, your teammates do this, can you critique them? Can you tell what they're doing right and wrong? Sometimes. Well, that's, we, I'm more interested in your head than your physical skill, you know? 
I want you to be able to listen to what he's telling them and understand what he's telling them. That's more important than being able to do it. Hey, Shane, rotate to the other side. Make a kick with that left foot. Good. Or tip. The voice is getting better. It's definitely getting better. Positive feedback. What do you tell him when he does it right? Yes. Feedback, feedback. When, when your kids do things well, brag, right? Remind me to talk about the sandwich at the end of class. I'm going to forget. The sandwich. The sandwich. Right. Yeah, you had 360, so you know, we already talked about that. Huh? The, sa the same, or Miss Joe talked about it? You just do it. Yes. Right, yes. It's an all teaching, actually. Golden goal. Thank you. We have a safety issue there. Yeah. It would have been my luck. I'd have tripped over it. Okay. Okay. Let's go down there. Rick, remind me to talk about the sandwich in class today. The sandwich. What needs to be improved? I'm going to forget if you don't help. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, you don't, it, that, your laptop is not part of it. I'll help you. Do you have your laptop with you? Okay. Uh, well, I have mine. I'll show you. You should have went to the step lab. All my kids have had this, had to apply to how to do it. Get on the phone or on a Second one to get there is playing defense. And the offense.
way of trying to war. And then once it ends, y'all get back in the back of the line, y'all rotate it. So y'all rotate lines the right way you can. But uh, give me all the balls. Let's do a walkthrough first. stabbing at the ball at all. So basically, come on here, man. If he's on offense and he has the ball and he's dribbling towards you, I never want you stabbing at the ball like that because he just goes straight by you. Because the minute the minute you stab is the minute a good offensive player is going to make a move and go straight to the goal. Basically, I want a good defensive player lets the offensive player make a bad mistake and then you capitalize on that. So you just sit back, you let him dribble, you stay in front of him, and the minute he makes a bad touch is when you take the ball. That's just how you play good defense and stop. Because never, never stab the ball. What's a bad touch? A bad touch is when an offensive player, when I was teaching y'all to keep the ball in front of y'all, like right in front of y'all, a bad touch and an offensive player touches it too hard. And that's when a defensive player capitalizes and takes it. It's like a guard stealing the ball, huh? In basketball. But basically, just stay in front of him. Like, never stab. He just never stab. Until he makes it bad. So we now know what a stab is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me get down here. I'll get a better picture. You play soccer? Right. Right. Foot. I thought it also. It's really tough. Right. Yeah, from that side, the hit with the right foot. I wonder if he originally tough. planned that, or if he was trying to manage both groups and trying to keep them from getting bored. That would be you know, an interesting but can, question. But if you would pass from there, and then kick with the left foot, and from there with the right foot, you know that then it was done. Sure. Because if they have some time to like let it roll past them and then kick with their foot, it's way too hard. So when we do our summary. You gonna still be sitting here? Well, yeah, man. Yeah. Not, look, no, dude, you can tell. You can tell okay. Me. Okay. You're not, being You're not being a well. Remember our critique. I know, I don't, but I don't know this. Well, that's true. You don't if know. If it was them. my own class, if I would have. That's true. That's true. That's true. Felix is doing great today, though. Uh, he Romero, Romero got it must be sick or something, and he had to take both sides. Yeah. So you have to adjust your lesson plan. I have a feeling that might have been what happened. I have to go back and look at his lesson plan. You got too much standing around for sure. Okay, Felix, can we split the group up? Yeah, we can. Yeah, so that, because we got a lot of standing there. Same six? Yeah. yeah, what? You go throw the ball. Yes, but but the thing is, all them sit in there, we're not getting any practice. Uh, you got thrown okay. for a loop today, I'm trying to help you. Yes, <laughs> yes.
yuk. Matt is intimidating. He's big, you know, he's intimidating. If, if people would not get sick when it's their turn to teach life, I would be better, huh? If they, when you're teaching, you can't get oh, sick. Yeah. But that's why I make them teach in pairs, because that happens at lower level classes a lot. In 350 next semester, they only keep one person teaches, start to teach in one day. That's all you do, one day. 300 points for one day. So you cannot get sick.
Very nice, Shay. Okay, what was what, what was Lee supposed to do? You didn't have any idea what his, he was doing? I mean, I didn't look at his lesson plan. I mean, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. But now you wished you had, don't you? Yeah, but we talked last night and he sounded like he was like, you. Well, look, something. Something it, happened. Yeah. yeah. But, but in we, the We talked about it last night. He was like, yeah, I'm still doing different strategy. You do the review. And then he asked me how I was doing. So now he's going to, you have to modify probably what you're going to do next class to pick up some of the stuff that got mixed. Okay? Hey, you know what you could do? You could have them pull that goal over there to the middle and play a, bit. And play a game and then stop them and, and when they start making mistakes and critique what you're trying to do, right? Yeah, I'll do, do that. that. I'll do that in about seven minutes. But, because they're, they're going to get more with this real quick. Very, hey, very nice guy. Ray, you need to start bringing a whistle to class because if you can't uh, participate in the in the physical part, I'm just going to fall. You know, I don't want you to fall, or I don't want anybody running into you. But then I want you to be the referee, on okay. the side, you know, be the other referee, gotcha. so that you can stay engaged in what's going on. Yeah. Otherwise, you kind of go to sleep mentally in class if you're not involved. And remember that when you're teaching PE. The kids that come, they're not, they're hurt or something. You got to give them something to do. You can't just let them sit on the side. Some of them are permanently. Yeah. You know, that's it. Um, and that's called diversity on your lesson plan. How you, how you adapt to all students. Bad teachers don't do that. Good teachers do. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be that top ten percent, right? Not the bottom ten percent. Give it the top ten more. Remember. Oh. Okay. That's, that's, wait, you're going to lose your lines. You need, yeah, to the black, you need to pull that out, out away from, so we're going to use the basketball court, the ba black lines. Go pick up the cones. Making me work today. Okay, this this playing of the game was not in the plan. He finished his lesson, and so I said, "Go play the game and stop them and rewind, shape play, plan it so they can kind of get a feel of how teams function." And then next class, they'll have to change what they were planning to do since the teacher was absent. They'll have to rewrite the lesson plan to pick up part of what they missed today. Because he only had one half of the lesson and we're switching. Oh, yeah. Yes. And, but he did not look I'll at what the other teacher... Join. Yeah, go play. Well, they have, they have six and eight, five, so I'll ask. Um, Felix. He, he can play. He's a soccer player. Five, so basically, 50%. Not 100%. I don't think I have 
Okay. It's either that or you're out. And then two So two forwards, a mid dude. Nice goldie there. He does look like a spider monkey. Uh, hey, settle it. For people that have never played in their life, they look they don't look bad. You know? Mary. Oh. 
Rick plays that. Uh, yes. Oh. He was critiquing his lesson. Yeah, he was. Yeah. It's so much easier to sit on the side and watch. Uh, I definitely saw him. That's but okay. He knows these fights. I wish he could have helped me do the lesson today. He, he, he was afraid to walk over. I, would, I, wouldn't, mind, I wouldn't mind him helping. The worst coach is the one who don't, or the ones who don't accept the I always believe in that. <laughs> you have a future, young man. Yeah. You do. Very true. Come on, Tate. Big slash. Very nice defense, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, Very nice. Nice. I'm gonna be on, my, on this video, sound like an idiot laughing so much. But, oh, yes. Oh, good job, Matthew. Oh, good try. I'm so glad you didn't peel off all your skin. Y'all pay attention. Uh, he made the pass to Shea, and Shea, and the defender took Shea. Dana took, took Shea. So he was jogging right here. If Shea turned around, he sprints. There's nobody right here. And she he, she passes back to you, and then we'll shoot it at Jordan. He's not gonna block. Five balls at He's not gonna block it. So. Okay, guys, that's time. We're done. Oh, one more rally. Go.